Hey guys, it's me, Opinionated Jasmine, coming through with my opinions, my, you know, updates, whatever the hell I feel like posting, basically. Um, please subscribe to my channel, share my channel, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell everybody. What's up? Let's make this grow. Let's make an Opinionated crew, you know? So, right? I was over here listening to, I, I forgot who it was, but my bad, I'll put it in the description. Um, so what I wanted to talk about was how Dame Dash, so they're saying that Dame Dash not only took Aaliyah away from Jay-Z, because Jay-Z was more... Uh, he and it's true. He's still like that. He's more of a, you know, quiet guy. He doesn't want, you know, all his, you know, information out there. He wanted the relationship between him and Aaliyah to be private, you know. But I guess from what this um, came from um, interview with Choke No Joke. So Choke No Joke said that you know. That this dang dash, you know, that that's what he does. He likes to he likes to take people's girls, whatever. So, but this is the thing that like got me from surprise because they um choke no joke said that he also tried to take Beyonce from Jay Z. Like he was trying to like you, you know flirt with Beyonce, trying to get Beyonce you know more next day because remember when it was Rockefeller was on. Um, that's the way that they used to all hang out together. That's how he ha happened with Aaliyah, you know, like they were all hanging out and then Dame Dash was able to influence her and move her more towards him because he was willing to be a little more public than Jay-Z was. So, you know, but that couldn't go down with Beyonce because, you know, Bay is a real ride or die to chick, you know, and she wasn't going to do that to her Jay-Z. She wasn't going to do that to her man. So she was like, nah. For it, you know, so because behind the scenes, Dame Dash likes to, you know, flirt and stuff with people's girls, which is not freaking cool, okay? So it was like crazy. So, yeah, he said, Choke No Joke said that, that Bae, Beyonce, she did not fall for it. And he said, so Choke No Joke literally said that Dame Dash was a creep and... Aaliyah basically fell for his creepiness and Beyonce did not so that was my little update you know this was an interview done by star um, with choke no joke if you guys want to research that but that's basically what was said so basically it's like Dame Dash is like my little notebook Dame Dash is basically he likes to point the fingers to everybody like this guy did this this guy did that what about this what about that like trying to expose dudes and everything but because it's like he tried to throw jay-z under the rock when when he was uh, meeting with nick cannon he was like oh uh, what about you know because nick cannon asked him about um this chick what's her name damn um, i forgot um oh damn well, anyways, you know, if you look up the interview, he was over here asking him about, um, you know, him dating. And he was like, quickly, like, no, nope, you got to ask Jay-Z. Jay-Z's the one that was messing with Foxy Brown. There you go. I remember. Ooh, ooh, I remember. Uh, uh, uh. No, sir. So, yeah. So, dang dash, when, when Nick Cannon said, hey, so, you know, what was up with you and Foxy Brown? He was like, oh, you asking the wrong one. You have to ask Jay-Z. So it's like, dude, why you keep throwing dudes out under the bus? Like, all he had to say was, I never, I never, me I never messed around with Foxy Brown. That's not true. Keep it going. But nah, he wanted, he wants everybody, like, it's kind of like he wants people to turn on Jay-Z because he did he was the first one to bring up Jay-Z that was messing with Aaliyah too. You know, like, why do that? And the thing is, I'm thinking too, this is all taken away from the attention that's supposed to be going towards R. Kelly. You know what? Keep all this energy 
to R. Kelly because he's the one that's being a real nasty ass creep out in these streets. Just saying, okay? Um, so yeah, that's it. Have a nice day. Please subscribe, like, you know, do your thing, hit that bell so you know when I'm on. Bye.